You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather, coverage you can count on. Now here's a live look over the hills in Butte County on this uh, Thursday. Thursday. It is Thursday, it's right? It's Thursday, yeah. <laughs> Coming up on Friday as well. Chief Meteorologist Howie Gordon has been tracking the days by just how warm it gets and how it feels like today's the warmest day so far this week, right? Today was the warmest day, and that is uh, at the peak, Haley, because then it starts going downhill from here. Alan knows the song, Here Comes the Sun. Well, we're going to change it. There goes the sun, because that is what is going to happen. Our temperatures are going to cool as well. So let's make my way, our way over to the weather wall for now. Here's our Dulcine shot in Butte County looking off towards the northeast, and there's nothing but sunshine, blue skies, and lots of green in this beautiful shot. So overnight, not that bad on the milder side, staying in the mid-50s. Maybe, maybe you can open that window up overnight and maybe not need that extra blanket. But shower chances return for Friday as well as cloud cover and cooler temperatures as well as winds. And at the bottom, you see right there, a cooling trend as well. We'll start off in the coastal range in the North Mountains where we have seen spots in the upper 70s and the lower 80s where we're going to really struggle to get back to the 60s for the most part for tomorrow. Then for the Sierra Cascades where I, I said snow levels now are about six to 7,000 feet. They could come down by Saturday night into Sunday morning down to 3,500 feet where I think you're going to have to be at about 5,000 feet or higher to really have some good snow accumulation where you could get four to six inches again Saturday night and in to Sunday as we make our way down into the foothills on the ridge. Temperatures cooling there as well. We'll stay in the mid 60s for tomorrow. So mild overnight. The thing about it is we've been mild and then we shoot up above average into the 80s. Not the case for tomorrow. High pressure moving off. Storms moving in with cooler air. Now we're going to see temperatures in the low 70s, just a few degrees below average. But take away the sun add the wind and that will feel like a shock to the system and really the same applies once again in the mid valley so pretty mild overnight winds pick up rain chances temperatures on the lower side and we're going to feel that chill for tomorrow here in the valley all right here is what we have here's our future cast so not bad right now but our high pressure ridge is on the move in terms of starting to nudge off from west to east into the great basin Storms to the northwest, slowly going to move in overnight tonight and into tomorrow. You're starting to see the cloud development. And as we head into Friday early, the clouds starting to thicken. And as we make our way into Friday, then you start to see some rain showers making their way into northern California. And then you see the heaviest of it still out there in the ocean as we still move into Friday. But those storms, they continue to move our way from out of the northwest. Let's pick up where that left off for tomorrow at about 6 p.m. So what's happening? You see the high pressure behind me moving off towards the east. These storms dropping down and by really quick, this little initiation of the high pressure moving off and the storms moving down. That's what's spiking up our winds from Friday or yeah, Friday into Saturday, excuse me. Then these storms right on top of us for Saturday and that is going to bring us our showers and our cooler temperatures as well as our winds. So Friday, 70 degrees, but Saturday and Sunday in the 50s we go with rain showers, but it's short-lived because by the time after the weekend ends, we start to warm up with temperatures back in the 70s with some nice sunshine. All right, that looks pretty decent. Thanks, Howie. We spend 